my amazing planner friends. It's Jess from My Magical Planner, and today we're going to be planning out the week of February 13th through the 19th, and I'll be using a kit from Sticker Guru. This kit was gifted to me by Lisa and Lucy, who are the owners of Sticker Guru, because I am part of their PR team. It was gifted last year, so it's been sitting around a while, but I'm pretty sure it's still in the shop. So if you like it, you can use my referral link down below, and you can also use my PR code, which is just 15 to get 15% off. And all that information will be down below for you guys. So as we're setting up our planning here, I did decide to pull out some older items to incorporate in this. And one of those are these garlands or swoops, whatever you want to call them. These are from the Giving Girl. I got these in an oops bag quite a while ago. I don't think they were super popular in her shop. And so she kind of just gave them away in oops bags and such. So I have quite a few of them. And I felt like the jewel theme really went really well with Valentine's Day and kind of the feel of this kit. And it was a fun way to use these up. I also pull in, instead of using the days of the week from the kit, I had these older days of the week from Harriet Wright Design. I decided to pull in. However, I did think that that was a lot of just foil at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and pull in some of the florals that I picked out for this kit. These are from Sadie's Stickers. I really liked the way the pinks and greens went together. This particular set of florals is called Garden. And I had two sheets of just the floral clusters plus a sheet of the trims to use. So quite a bit of floral I could pull in, which was really nice. I had a lot of fun with it on this one because I wanted to see what I could do outside of the box because I'm not a huge garlands at the top kind of person. I, I do do a lot of deco at the top, but it's, it's more floral deco. And while this is floral, it more is focused on those garlands. However, I do use the color pops of the florals to kind of give your eyes some places to stop and focus. And as I'm going into the garlands on the second half, I do know that I want it to kind of match up with the first half. I want it to, to be one cohesive kind of scene opposed to a scene on one side and a scene on the other. So while I am starting on the far side, I am going to go back and try and match up stickers for the middle to make them look very cohesive which is what I'm doing right here. And I really like the effect of that. It gives it a very beautiful cohesiveness. I will say that laying down garlands is one of the hardest things for me because finding something that doesn't look so repetitive is really hard. I, I need someone else to do a tutorial on how to lay down garlands so <laughs> that I can better understand. I just kind of play around with them and end up with something. I'm not always happy with the end results. Like the Wednesday, Tuesday portion, I feel is really repetitive and needs something to break it up a little bit more. So it's something I'm trying to work on. And so you might see a lot of it in upcoming videos because I just want to learn more about them. Then I'm going to move on and try and decide, well, what else do I want to do? I knew I needed my bottom washi, so I'm going to go ahead and put that down. I always line it up with the bottom of the page opposed to that bottom line because I like that extra space and having all of that room to kind of put in on the things that I need to do that day or list or whatever else. And I'm just taking a washi card and lining it up along that line and making sure that I have a good portion of that line lined up to make sure my line is straight when I cut. Super easy. And then I pulled in these trims from Sadie Stickers. They're just dots with little flowers. I felt it went really well with the Valentine's theme. And I'm just putting it along the top to kind of give me an edge there. And I thought it looked really cute and trimming those to match. I think this is the point where I started thinking about the date dots I wanted to use and realizing that the date dots that I wanted to use had bows on them and they were rather large as well. And so with the text I had chosen, which also had bows, I just felt like it was too much. So I, I tried to put down a header thinking, 
Well, if I put headers down here and kind of line them up with the headers, would that work? And went, no, I don't like that. So I decided I needed a moment to kind of think about what I wanted to do there. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my February for this. I always put the month over in that column on the left side. So I used a box from The Giving Girl, which is really cute. I love these hanging boxes. She has them in all different colors. And so I just hung that there and then I put a floral above to make that better fit in that space. I am using a Miss and Meow script. All of my other scripts, I don't know if you noticed, I overlaid it and realized it was going to be too large for the box. So I wanted a smaller script and I think the Miss and Meow ones are the smallest that I have. And then at the top there, I'm using one of the specific headers that says this week to kind of put that in there. And then I decided I wanted to go through and put all my decorative boxes in to kind of see what everything was going to look like. I do gravitate towards all of the pink boxes, actually. And so you'll notice when we get to the second part of the week that we don't quite have enough of the pink boxes. So I do grab a green one. Um, I'm not sure how I like the way that turned out. I probably should have picked that tan box at the top instead, but it still looked really cute. I did want to have some of the green because I knew I was going to be pulling in some of the green boxes from the kit. So anyhow, now I'm looking at different date dots. I pulled those ones out and realized I didn't have the numbers I needed. I went back to the bows and went, no, that's really not going to work. And finally, I decided on these kind of dangle butterfly ones that I had gotten from the Giving Girl. They're absolutely gorgeous and I truly love them. I'm pretty sure those are still in her shop as well and I would highly recommend them. They're delicate and gorgeous. Moving on to my sidebar again, I pulled in a doll from Paper Dolls Co. It felt really romantic and just like it would fit really well with this kit. So I absolutely adore how that kind of pulled things together. Then I'm going to put in my checklist. So I just have a plain checklist from the kit. And then I have a Monday through Sunday, which I'm going to use along with the header that says meals to put my meal plan for the week in there. And then I kind of wanted to do something different. So I took some of the leftover, I think this was leftover washi that I had and just kind of ripped it up a little bit to add some borders and such. I was playing around with putting that circle in, but I didn't like the way the shape was looking. So as I was thinking about that, I went ahead and used these leftover little garland pieces. They have the dots and the hearts in them as well. I pulled in a stamp, which is a new addition to my sticker collection from Sadie Stickers. That was a $2 Tuesday and added some hearts on top of it. Those are probably Sadie stickers as well. And then layered on the other part of that torn washi, which was actually, I think the sidebar washi strip. To finish out the sidebar column, I am going back in and adding a little bit more floral. I had misplaced the first washi card. So I just grabbed a second one to kind of trim things up. And I'm using some of those leftover trimmed pieces just on the other side of the sidebar to kind of bring some of that floral to the other side. So it didn't look quite so bare. Then I'm going to go ahead and put in that other washi strip. I'm using it to mark actually my husband being out of town. So I'm going to go ahead and put it across. I'm going to lay down that extra sticker paper just over where the full box is so that I'm not going to damage that sticker and cut it on both sides to make it look like one continuous strip. And then I'll add some to the second half of the week when we get there. But that worked really, really well. And I like the effect. So I put that down and then I'm going to go ahead and use one of these circles to kind of mark what that strip is representing. And I'm overlapping it between the two columns because it's not day specific. So I'm pulling in a Letters to Apollo airplane, totally my favorite airplanes. These are gorgeous and delicate and just, I love the little heart in the sky. It just seems so perfect. Now I'm going to start putting in all of the general things for each day. Starting at the top of Monday, I'm going to overlay two square boxes because I wanted the green, but I didn't want it to be just the green because I have so little green on the spread overall. So I overlaid the two boxes and then I'm pulling in a Joy of Planning little 
icon person. I love these. They're so cute. And you can get them in all different hair colors and hairstyles and everything. This is a planner one. She's taking an Instagram photo of her planner spread and it says Instagram post. I don't, I don't remember if I got that up or not, to be honest. It has been such a long, long week. Below that, I needed to mark that I had a massage scheduled. That was my husband's gift to me for being out of town for Valentine's Day. Honestly, it didn't really matter to me. He's rarely in town on Valentine's Day. It's not something new. And I would rather have him appreciate me all the time than being like, oh, we have to do something now kind of thing, if that makes sense. So it was nice to have the massage, though. I won't object. <laughs> especially since I've had a lot of pain lately and the massages tend to help with that. Below that, I am going to go ahead and put down a regular box. I'm going to use this to mark Megan's skating lessons for Monday. And then I'm going to put a floral on top of that box as well as one of the Joy of Planning girls. She does have these really cute skating girls. And I really like those. Then I have the two page flags, which I layered and then put one of the White Deer Stationery musical staffs on top of to mark Dan's jazz band practice, which ended up being canceled. I don't even remember why. I think it had something to do with his instructor. So, and the bottom box that I just put there will be for Ethan's work. So I can make sure to have that on my docket as well. So I know where cars are and all of that. And then I'm just going back in after I've laid down like the icons and such to fill in any information that I need it to write in. Now, moving on to Tuesday, obviously that was Valentine's Day. So I wanted to mark that and I'm trying to decide what do I want to do? And I decided to add in this floral at the top, which I think is really pretty. It kind of decorates the side of those overlaying boxes. And then I can use it as a starting point for putting down my Valentine's script. That script is from Paper Trail Plans. I love her scripts. They're so pretty. And then I'm going to add a couple of hearts up above. And then I had this swoosh that I've had, oh gosh, probably at least a year from Sadie stickers that I wanted to use. And I just love these. I really use dividers I've found. So I'm trying to make sure that I have, because I have so many of them, I want to make sure I'm using them. Below that, I'm just adding a small box. That is to mark putting up my pin video. Those go up on Tuesday mornings around like nine o'clock every week now. And I wanted to make sure that I had that on my docket. I knew that that needed to be ready and set to go. So I have that there. The cleaning people were coming this morning. So I needed to mark that in there as well. So I was prepared for them. Actually, I think they might have came in the afternoon. I can't quite remember. And then I used a Crafts by Towie icon there as well to kind of fill in the gap that was there because the floral and the circle weren't quite matching up exactly. Then I'm going to add a square down there at the bottom. That's just a pink square. I'm going to overlay a therapy little icon and some floral down there to mark Megan's therapy, which actually ended up being canceled and was a godsend because I was so tired. <laughs> I decided to do a bunch of organizing this week with Jared out of town and completely wore myself out. <laughs> So it was nice to have the excuse to just be home. And then I put planner video. I've been trying to get those up on Tuesday evenings. And I think that one went up on, I can't, no, I think it was a day late because there was an update to Adobe and like everything wasn't editing correctly. And I like the mouse and the pointer were not going where they were supposed to. It was a big thing. Anyhow, so that came up actually on Wednesday. Wednesday morning, I'm marking at the top doing laundry because that was a priority. And then I was supposed to have therapy, um, which is my normal Wednesday appointment. But that also got moved to Friday this week. So instead, <laughs> since I had organized the linen closet, I decided next I would organize the girls bathroom drawer. Well, it's actually all the kids, but it's mainly the girl stuff that's in there. So I went ahead and did that instead, which was a much bigger project than I thought it would be. 
And then Megan had lessons after school, so I marked that with a box and some white deer stationary skates. I included a little swoop below that. I just thought it looked really cute. And the box below that one is one for Dan's trombone. And then I put in this bed with the florals. When Jared's out of town, I tend to need to sleep more um, or <laughs> I get really worn out the first couple days. And so then next day I kind of need to rest to make sure I go to bed at a reasonable time and not like midnight. <laughs> but anyhow, <laughs> I'm sure I'm the only one who ever does that because I have all these projects I want to do. And when he's not here, I feel like I have more time for some reason. I don't think I actually do. It just feels that way. So anyhow, now I'm going back through and just writing down everything. And that gives me the first part of the week. Now we're moving into the second part. So like I said, I was going to extend that washi strip along so that I could mark his full trip. He actually came home Thursday night. So I'm just kind of overlaying that sticker paper again so I don't damage the big box underneath. And that looked really nice. It doesn't look like an extension of the washi unless you see it all together. It looks more like a um, divider, but that's okay. So next I wanted to put in like a spot to put all the errands I needed to run because usually I'll pick one day of the week and we'll just do all of our errands. And that happened to be Thursday this week. So I'm using one of the half circles and then I cut down the size of the header that said errands. So it wasn't the full width of the column just to give some more interest to the space, put down the three dots so that I had places to write different things out at the swoop below for division. So it kind of is its own box area. And then I'm pulling in, oh gosh, I think that's a pretty pink co car that I've had for quite a while. I think it was an oops car and then some floral to just kind of fill out the space below that. I am putting in a box for Emily's therapy and I'm going to go ahead and add some florals and a cute icon. But before that I did add the plane to indicate Jarrett coming home because his flight and her therapy were supposed to overlap a little bit. It got delayed. So he was a little bit later, but you know, things happen. Below the decorative box, I'm going to layer on two of the page legs, as well as one of the skates that I got from Crafts by Towie to indicate, indicate Megan's lesson. I also had Dan working this day, which was super complicated. They all had to be someplace at four and they had to be in three different towns. <laughs> it was kind of insane, but we made it work. It all happened. And then I'm also marking that I had a pink collab video. I thought it was on Thursday, ended up being Friday. So, but it was ready on Thursday. So even better. I'm just marking that with a box from Harriet Wright Designs with some floral and a, a girl from Joya Planning. And she has like a little camera there. It's super cute. Below that, I did use one of the trims on the side and then a pretty pink co Instagram box to mark that I wanted to post my poll for this week's Instagram kits that did not actually end up going up until, oh gosh, just a little bit ago. So it's actually up right now. So if you want to vote on what kit I'm going to be using this next week, I have three up there for you guys to choose from. I have Sadie stickers, November subscription. I have a beauty and the beast kit from Simply Watercolors Co. and a Letters to Apollo kit called Planning Time, I believe, right now. It's been really fun seeing what people want to see, and I think it's kind of sparking my creativity. So at least for the time being, I'm going to continue to do that. Those polls tend to go up sometime during the weekend. I would love to say they go up on Friday, but the last couple of weeks that hasn't happened. This next week's going to be really intense. So it'll probably be a Sunday or a Saturday post as well. Anyhow, moving on to Friday, I went ahead and added one of those floral arches and then added on a leftover payday script. That actually was a sticker guru script, and I believe you can get it in their shop. And then below that, I added in this bus, which I think is incredibly detailed and beautiful. That actually came from a leftover from a Two Little Bees kit. It was like the start of school or something. 
And then I had a school script that I was able to add to the bottom of the bus. And then I just wrote in the half day because they had a half day on Friday. Below that, I added a box and put planning time with the desk and the florals just to mark that I was going to use that to do some planning. And I, I managed to do my Sterling Inc. monthly planning for March. I do have a Instagram reel up showing that. So that is up right now. Below that, I did mark that I wanted to make an Instagram post on Friday. Did not happen. I, I started not feeling well and getting really queasy. Part of that is nerves for an upcoming doctor's appointment this next week. But because of that, I didn't do a whole lot. So the voiceover also did not happen on Friday. It's happening Sunday. <laughs> But you know, and then I did a mark family time. We watched a movie together or a show. Clarkson's Farm is a show that we all enjoy. So we watched an episode of that on Saturday morning. Skating was canceling. We've actually decided that we're going to take Saturday morning skating off the schedule so that she can sleep in. And then Dan had work. So I just marked that with a Harriet Wright design box with some floral and a set of silverware since he works in a restaurant. And then I'm going to go ahead and give myself a to-do list at the bottom of the week there. And I actually, <laughs> you guys won't believe it. I finished the second coat of paint on the kid's bathroom. So I feel really accomplished. That was my big thing that I did yesterday. But the other things that ended up being on there, um, because my nerves are really bad, one of the things I do to calm myself down is I do diamond paintings. Like I have no use for them after I'm done with them. <laughs> but the the act of just the methodical placement of the diamonds is really helpful to me. So I do that a lot. And then I finished taking care of some of the things I was organizing. And I started looking at um, go wild plans because I have planned nothing other than buy my ticket. And I have a plane ticket and a hotel. So I'm going to be there. <laughs> But I know nothing else. <laughs> then moving on to Sunday, I went ahead and put down a box for Dan's work. Um, I did also add in on Saturday that I was going to have check-in day with the kids. That went really well. I actually scheduled two tours with Ethan for college campuses. So I'm excited to do that with him. At the top of Sunday, I'm cutting down some florals to go inside the box because that cream color was a little boring compared to the other colors. And so this gives me a little pop of color in that box. And then I'm just going to use one of the cleaning icons because this was going to be cleaning time. I actually did it yesterday, so it's all good. And then I also had a, a box marking Ethan's work. This planning video is put there as being posted, which hopefully will be be on time. It should be pretty close. And then I used one of the giving girl boxes. It's a heart to mark family time this afternoon. And then what I'm doing is I'm just kind of cleaning up my space. I'm looking at the stickers that I've pulled out and kind of deciding, is there anything else I want to add to this spread? And I decided I wanted to add a few more of these little heart swooshes. I had them on the first part of the week, but I didn't really have any in the second part of the week. And it kind of helps the flow of everything. I'm also adding in a few more little heart clusters. I felt those were really cute. I had pulled off this little bathtub as a leftover sticker I wanted to use. So I'm putting that in on Monday night because after the massage, you can sometimes be a little sore because of all of the different things are releasing from your muscles and stuff. And so they always suggest that you drink lots of water and take it easy the rest of the day kind of thing to really enjoy all the benefits of your massage. I added in editing on Wednesday. Instead, I organized... <laughs> I did do a little editing, but mostly I was organizing things. I guess I just really needed to this week. <laughs> then I'm putting all of the things I wanted to get done this week, which included organizing the linen closet, cleaning out bathroom, drawers, hang two pictures. I did not hang two pictures, actually. Tidy desk drawers. That also did not happen. Clean hall walls. I did do that, plus all the walls everywhere else. And paint. So I actually did really well good on my weekly stuff. As far as the menu goes, I put down tacos for Monday. We were going to do heart-shaped pizza on Tuesday, spaghetti, hamburgs, all well, hamburgers, 
um, pot roast, leftovers, and tonight should be pancakes. Or something really easy. And that pretty much does it for the week. If you guys have specific questions about anything, let me know. And otherwise, that is my week. I hope this helps you plan out your own week. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys real soon.